Points by Media3. I'm your host, Max, co-founder of adamoments.io, the infinite timeline on Cardano. Check it out. Today, I'm interviewing Militia from Streamflow Finance, who's providing a one-stop shop from launching and managing better token distributions in this bold new age of tokenization. All right. Thanks so much, uh, Malisha, for joining here today. This is a short, no-nonsense format where you get two minutes to pitch, followed by 10 minutes of questions and answers. Thanks so much for being here today, Malisha, from Streamflow Finance. Are you ready to go? Yes, thank you. All right, the stage thank is yours. Thank you for having me. Um, Pleasure. What Streamflow is, is um, doing and helping with is as uh, Streamflow is solving essentially some of the biggest problems in this industry, which is bad token launches, bad token distribution, uh, bad bad incentives, and and wrong alignment among different uh, stakeholders in the ecosystem. And as the token as a new asset class emerges from crypto and blockchain, Streamflow is essential infrastructure to um, help out with distribution of the tokens, uh, creation of the tokens, and just overall incentive alignment throughout the token lifecycle in order to just help the world with the adoption of blockchain and crypto. And Streamflow achieves that through a suite of products uh, that for now include token creation, token vesting, large-scale airdrops, token locks, crypto native payroll, and uh, permissionless uh, staking for the tokens. So um, that's where Streamflow is right now. Uh, the future of Streamflow is um, uh, like uh, just continuing on this on this uh, token incentive, uh, um, um, just to continue to, to to align incentives among the token holders and just throughout the whole flow from creation all the way to the life cycle of the token. Um, and we're seeing some very interesting design space unlocking in secondary markets and just derivatives on, um, you know, all of the distribution the stream flow is handling. I think those were two minutes. Yeah, super. And uh, I mean, I just put on the, the screen here on, on stage. Do you want to maybe uh, talk about this very briefly? So, uh, yeah, sure, I see here sure. a bunch of different of different solutions that you have. Uh, we can we sure, have a so little bit more time. This is the homepage and the dashboard of uh, Streamflow application, which is a UI built on top of Streamflow protocol, of course. And um, as you can see, you are um, seeing the whole um, uh, how much is available for claiming from you know if you have vesting contracts on Streamflow or some token locks there or an airdrop there, or you have a, a, a rewards to claim from from staking or some payment. Uh, it's all aggregated here and uh, we also uh, partner up with, um, with with an off-ram solution that allows you to take this your proceedings directly to your bank account and can check out everything that's going on uh, in regards to upcoming unlocks and airdrops yeah. unfortunately there is no airdrop for me here um, but uh, you can see what are the all airdrops that are currently um, being yeah. distributed through through Streamflow, uh, you can, as I mentioned, set up the vesting contracts. Um, you can right. set up the token locks in tokens and everything that I already mentioned. Okay, so in, in essence, this is like, uh, you know, the finance, the CFO's best friend, the, the Web3 CFO's best friend then, you know, to manage the team and the finances on chain. Uh, that's very clear, uh, but you have then a quite specific group that is your customer base. Is that correct? Is that always co-founders and um, yeah, project owners? Well, yeah, it's crypto. So yeah, the primary primary target group are different projects or you know at token uh, or asset issuers. You you would say. Mm -hmm. So whoever is managing that on, on the project side, either a you know co-founder, a CEO, CFO, uh, or maybe someone more technical. It's often the case, but we also, uh, so yeah, this is like the primary user group of Streamflow, uh, but uh, 
Also, Streamflow is being used by, how to say, some community-driven projects like uh, meme coins, as 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 they um, call them, right? Where yep. uh, these projects just decide to lock up percentage of of their supply to show commitment to the community, and uh, from last week, literally, they're able to also provide some rewards for that uh, lockup as well through our staking pools. Uh, right. And believe it or not, there are literally individuals, like individual retail investors or traders, that are proactively locking up their tokens in order to um, not pay per hand or just, you know, <laughs> sell emotionally. Yeah, yeah. Okay, clear. And what uh, stage are you guys in now as a as a company? What's you know what is it that you're trying to achieve now? Is it more growth? Are you still heavily building? Where uh, where does Streamflow Finance finds itself at the moment? It is uh, both. So we are still building and will not stop building. It's like the natural uh, ev evolvement uh, and growing, given that uh, Streamflow has been profitable for several months in a row this year before we decided to actually uh, go bigger and, and larger and um, you know just expand. And uh, what's coming uh, up next and what... Uh, you, the viewers should be really excited about are uh, apart from uh, the secondaries, secondary market that I mentioned, uh, it's the token launch itself as Streamflow is um, our token launch. So Streamflow token launch as Streamflow is being, uh, is going through progressive decentralization, allowing different participants and contributors to contribute on many different fronts from like technical but also like expanding and growing the Streamflow ecosystem and applications mm -hmm. built on top of the protocol and participating in governing the protocol and 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 treasuring and showing uh, their support or vote for uh, certain initiatives. So that's okay. coming before the end of the year. And there are many other things we uh, have uh, uh, like on on the roadmap. But I wouldn't like to kind of. I think this is the most important Pick thing, and I highlight it for everything else. You can do that in you yeah. know, light paper. Open the kimono for us now. This is pitch point. Uh, no, just kidding here. Uh, so I wanted to ask you also about uh, what what chains are you on, and uh, why did you choose those? I think that's always yes. interesting. I agree. So uh, we started Streamflow on Solana initially, and been ever like ever since have heavily focused on Solana, we decided to expand at some point and uh, offer this product suite to other chains. Uh, from EVM chains, we figured out it's like a little bit too much of, a, uh, of an effort on our side, and we wanted to actually double down on non-EVM, primarily on Solana, where uh, maybe 10 to 15 of our efforts go to Sui and Aptos as emerging uh, move non-EVM chains. So okay. yeah, that's that's the constellation. If you ask about the reasons, uh, essentially Solana was uh, back in 2022, and I think still today uh, the superior technology compared to uh, EVM, and uh, just the level of development um, from you know core Solana Labs and Solana Foundation and teams building in the mm -hmm. community is just uh, just uh, on, on a such a velocity that I haven't seen in in any other uh, ecosystem so far. Um, that's why uh, Solana for the non-EVM chains, we do see that uh, Move is really good. Um, I come from an engineering background, background and Move is really good programming language for blockchains. And we see some solid tech both on Aptos and Suicide and uh, believe that there is a potential there. That's why we put uh, a portion of our efforts uh, to see how this community and ecosystem can grow. Okay. Okay, and um, I mean, in terms of the growth of your platform itself, you know, I see that you guys celebrated uh, over a million users, right? And over 600 million in stream flow uh, progressing, you know, so through your yeah. uh, services. What are, yes. were the most popular solutions? And can you tell us a little bit about that? You know, what, which of your features have been performing so well and why have users chosen you? Yes. Um, so as you mentioned, over a million users have used Streamflow so far. Um, 
over 4,000 different tokens have gone through the platform. Uh, so distinct tokens, right? Um, and and over uh, $600 million um, dollars worth of tokens has been processed through through Streamflow protocol. Uh, and roughly uh, similar, similar amount is uh, the TVL. I mean, the TVL, you know, varies um, depending on the market, but roughly it's around 600 million at this point as well. And um, uh, when it comes to like which services are, are being used the most, uh, by f like for the long time, by far the most popular service was uh, token investing. But then uh, somewhere close to end of last year and beginning of this one, people started proactively locking up their tokens and using token lockup for themselves in order to prevent panic selling or emotional selling, as I mentioned. And uh, airdrop, like large scale vested airdrops has been um, uh, the latest addition to, to the product suite that's been uh, kind of tested and, and proven out. We've done, we've facilitated large uh, scale airdrops from Wormhole, uh, Bong, uh, Ionet, just to, to name a few from the top of my head. Uh, okay. So that's also we're seeing, we're seeing that there's a lot of traction there. And uh, what uh, we released last week is permissionless staking for any token. Um, any, anyone can create any stake pool for any token and add any token as a reward. So really crypto native permissionless way. And we uh, are like looking forward to see the adoption of this as we've had the adoption for any other um, project, oh, sorry, product in the past. Yeah, yeah. Okay, super. Uh, I've got two, two, well, three last questions for you. I'll, I'll end with uh, the great uh, positive one, the fact that you guys raised recently. And uh, maybe first, you know, how do you protect normal users from bad actors? You know, there's always this perception of, you know, how far should the free market go? How should normal users be protected? That's a very tricky position to be put into. And, um, yeah, I mean, how does how do you guys view that as uh, as Streamflow Finance? Yes, that, I think that's uh, like one of the main reasons why Streamflow is uh, uh, operating and why we're still involved in this uh, space to just raise the bar when it comes to standard and bring the best practices in this industry, so normal people don't get um, you know abused and 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 lose their investment and just overall have a very, very uh, unpleasant experience and then leave crypto and blockchain. And, you know, uh, then it, it, that, that hinders the adoption of the technology. Um, and Streamflow, how does Streamflow uh, do that? How can, it, how can Streamflow do that for them? It's simple, like the normal user should require or ask projects to use, um, I don't want to toot, you know, our own horn, but if not Streamflow, then a solution like Streamflow that programmatically enforces certain behavior. So when projects say that release schedule and tokenomics are like this, well, users should ask to verify that so that can be on chain, locked, and just releasing on a certain schedule. Streamflow mm -hmm. does that through uh, community dashboards, uh, token project dashboards that, that, uh, that are available for like, you know, to share publicly with community, with different stakeholders of the token uh, ecosystem, and and uh, because it's all done on chain, so you know you don't have to to trust. You can literally verify that projects do what they say they do. So mm -hmm. that's how Streamflow uh, aims to protect every participant in this token economy. Yeah, that leads me into the second last question. Actually, is uh, you know the, the creation of this smart contracts, this logic. Um, you know, Streamflow is then responsible for that aspect of the work. How uh, how do you make sure that that's uh, well transparent, secure, auditable? You know, that from that perspective, how can users um, get the best level of trust and projects that that's all actually executing effectively? Is that yes. by pushing everything on chain? Can you tell a little yeah, bit about yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. So it's a it is a smart contract on chain, so it can be. Um, checked like we also provide like the idl and sdk for others to actually interact with the protocol in much much easier fashion right um and 
Trueflow, given the nature of the business, is conducting like regular security audits at least every quarter. And uh, we've never had any incident for the last uh, almost three years of operations on, on Mainnet. So, um, yeah, that's that's something. And with the token upcoming and uh, kind of uh, opening the um, platform and the protocol for other contributors to join, we will see more and more, um, you know, uh, uh, tighter security practices as well with like formal verification and open sourcing parts of the protocol as well so for others to uh, start contributing and you know verify on many many different levels how what's going on there and how it should be um, behave okay and uh yeah f f that's great finally uh you know you guys raised i think it's i saw on, on online you guys raised five million that's that's great right to unlock uh you know a lot of of strategic spend let's say do you uh, care to elaborate a little bit uh yeah what are you guys looking forward to here now uh in this next cycle yes uh yes so streamflow raised first round back in 2020 end of 2021 and uh has shown throughout time throughout bull market and bear market that we are able to do uh, a lot with uh, a little um with, with much less funding than other uh, projects and some of the competitors. And uh, we realized at some point that like all of the numbers that I mentioned are really, really good and that we have ambition to actually uh, grow much uh, larger. And therefore it's a good time for us to actually um, just raise a, a, a get, get more people who are long-term thinking, uh, strategic investors on board. And we did a, uh, um, a small angel round bringing our total funding to 5 million uh, leading up to the TG and the token launch that's upcoming in this quarter. So yeah, I think that would be it. Yeah, um, congrats. Thanks uh, thanks so much for your time and uh, taking the time to talk to us here on Pitch Points. Uh, we hope to follow along and see uh, what the next cycle brings for you guys. Thank you, sir. Looking forward to seeing this episode online and uh, talking to you in some future. Cheers, Malaysia. Have a good one. Have a good one.